Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be filmed a little bit differently than normal because if you are new here I am expecting a baby girl in April and we are sharing my office clawfish area so we just put her crib up over here and that means that I've had to modify some things that happen in this office which is going to include doing try on hauls for you guys but nonetheless I will still be sharing it so I'm going to be sharing a Lulu's haul with you today and I this is my first time actually getting clothes from Lulu's and I was just very very happy with everything that I got it's been a little bit of a struggle because you know I'm not fitting my regular sizes anymore and it's when it comes to ordering things I don't know what to order like if I should get a medium or a large and then I'm like oh what if I want to keep this afterwards so anyway all I have to say if you're new here welcome my name is Davida and I am here every Sunday and Thursday usually but I think Thursdays is just going to be my day with the expecting baby and just life I would love it if you guys would subscribe to my channel and I also have a fashion blog which you can find me at vitafashionista.com and I've, I blog there regularly Monday, Wednesday, and Friday so you can catch me over there for fashion and lifestyle. So let me share some of the goodies that I got in this Lulu's haul and let me know what your favorite is at the end. I will put all of the pricing details and sizing in the description box for you and then that way you can shop. First I'm gonna share with you is this lovely shacket. Y'all already know how I feel about that word, but nonetheless, they are in right now. And honestly, they're super comfortable and they fit me. So I really love this shacket. I love the color combo of it. And I actually think it has a matching skirt, but I just was here for the shacket. This was the first one that I actually have ever had. I'm wearing this in a size medium and it's just super comfortable. I love that it fits the bump. Fingers crossed, maybe I'll still be able to wear this, you know, in another month or so. But if you guys don't follow me on TikTok, you should, because I shared how to style a shacket four ways. So this is the one of the ways that I would wear it. I'm just wearing it with a pair of my maternity leggings and a pair of sneakers. Honestly, leggings, dresses, and sweatpants are the only thing that fit right now. I would love to style this with a pair of jeans. I will do that postpartum though. But get yourself a shacket, y'all. And this one, I know I didn't, I said I'm not gonna discuss prices, but I believe that this one is under $60. Super well made, very comfortable, very thick. I'm gonna just show you one more way that I would wear this. I took the easy way out with this styling because I was going to put on a black dress and show it to you guys worn open, but my dress wasn't close enough to me. <laughs> so this is what we get. So this is another way that you can style the shacket. You can wear it open and I just threw on a black turtleneck. I still have on those same black leggings and then I just have on a really cute pair of furry faux fur black boots that I got from Walmart. I think they're sold out though guys and they were like $25 but I will if I can find them I will link them for you and then I just threw on a bum bag or belt bag whatever you want to call it. I was so comfortable in that look that I just kept it on to share this next item with you guys that I'm so obsessed with but I have this tan puffer coat and I do believe that it's free people and it comes in I think two colors but it's a great coat it runs so big so of course for the bump I didn't know how it was gonna fit so I decided I sized up and it comes in either small medium or medium large let me check the tag hold it hold it I lied so it comes in small medium and large and I didn't know how it was gonna fit with the bump so I got a medium and it's huge. Everyone say hi to Stevie because she decided that she wants to be in this video. Anyway, I got a medium and I will say that it does run very large. So if you're interested in purchasing it, 
make sure that you size down. Definitely could have done a small. Either way, it's super comfortable, it's very warm, and I know that it will fit me until the day that I give birth. I feel like I didn't give you a full view of the coat, but this is what it looks like on. Hey, Stevie. And then for the pockets, we have pockets right here. So it has nice, deep pockets. And then there's also a pocket right here. So lots of storage for you if you're not into holding purses. I feel like this coat is so oversized and so big that I would look ridiculous with a purse. And then I really just like that fact that it is quilted. And again, it's super warm. Next item I keep forgetting is in this haul, but I got this black long line cardigan or duster, whatever you want to call it. And I ordered this in a size medium. I'm pretty sure I'm like the queen of cardigans. I have cardigans in every single color, but I didn't have black. And I like the styling of this one. It's super simple. It's literally what I had on with the jacket, but I swapped out my shoes for just some little Ugg slippers. And I still have that turtleneck on. And this is just something that I would feel really comfortable wearing around the house. This is very, very long, which is a nice length. If you guys don't know, I'm five foot three. So just take a look at the length. Looks really good. And then I'm trying to see if I can get the detail of this for you, but it's just like ribbed. It's not too thick. I think it's just something that you would just throw over like a dress, throw over what I'm wearing right now a top and jeans, something like that. And now on to this beautiful, what is this, like a pine green colored sweatshirt. I love it. It's like the color is so pretty. I feel like I need to wear this color more often. And I sized up in this sweater to a large because when I saw it on the website, I saw it on the model, and I was like, that looks like that's gonna be short without the bump. So with the bump, I figured I'd be on the safe side, just go up to a large. I have really long arms, so I'm glad that that worked out for me. But I feel like if, you, if your arms are on the shorter side, you would not be able to do that. But I would say that this sweater runs true to size if you're into it. So just get your regular size. I just, again, sized up for the bump. But like I said, it's this really pretty pine green color. It has a little bit of like rib detail in it. It has a little bit of a puff but not too puffy, like too trendy. And then anything that's a turtleneck, I'm here for it. Then the way that I styled it, I just threw on a black pair of mules because just like leggings and dresses and joggers, sweatpants being the only thing that fit me, anything that slips on, saving grease. So even though we're not really going anywhere right now, I feel like it was like my mission to step up my outerwear game just for like future reference. So I've been very conscious of picking really great coats and jackets. And this one is just everything. Really, the first thing that drew me to it was the color of it. And I'm hoping that this is showing right, but I think they're calling this like a green. I feel like it looks kind of like on the yellow side right now on the screen, but it is, I don't know, it's a combination of greenish yellow, if that makes any sense. And then it has a really pretty like white dotted detail in there. But I got this coat in a size medium. Again, I sized up because for the bump. Plus, I actually usually order mediums for my outerwear anyway, just because I usually like to layer underneath. So I have that same sweater on as before that I showed you guys. And with the size medium jacket on, super comfortable. Then I just have on those same mules and my leggings, and then I just added a bag. These last two sets that I'm gonna be showing you are definitely my favorites, because we're moving on to loungewear. And that's really, all I've been wearing, I don't know about you guys, but totally into loungewear, everything fits, elastic waistbands, here for it. So I really love this tie-dye set. Tie-dye was huge last year, tie-dye is still having its moment, and I'm just going to let it have its moment here to stay, I'm here for it. This set is so comfortable, I'm wearing it in a size medium, and I just really love the colors. It's 
they call this black, but it's definitely more on like the grayish, almost like slightly blue side. And then I just paired it with some tennis sneakers. I think these are the like platform Supergas. I'll make sure that I link them below for you guys. And then another way that you could style this set, obviously, when you get a set, you can wear it separately or you can do like the little Carlton tie around your neck. So I think I have a picture, I'll put it over here for you guys. But I would wear like a white tank top and then just tie it around my neck. Just a different way to style it, make the loungewear look a little bit more elevated. Don't know if you picked up on it, but I also forgot to mention that this does have a hood and that the pants do have pockets. I don't know if it's a big deal to you guys, but kind of a necessity for me to have sweatpants that have pockets. I don't know, it just makes sense, right? And the last thing that I have to show you in this haul is this set, which is so sweet. Love it. I love the color. It's like peach. And I know it doesn't look like it, but just bear with me here. So they come, the top and the bottoms come separately. I'm wearing a medium in both. And I feel like if you guys are seeing what I'm seeing, the, they don't, they're not, they don't really match, right? <laughs> They're not the same exact color, put it that way. But I think it's just what happens when you tie-dye things. Like, sometimes they're just not 100% perfect. But this set, like I said, super cute. It has a drawstring waist, which for me, it doesn't really matter if it's drawstring or not. It's not doing anything for me. But again, like I said before, pockets are, they're not a must-have. But I just think that pockets and sweatpants make sense. These sweatpants don't have pockets. So if you are a pocket person like I am, just a note of, I don't know, caution or just something that you should be aware of. But either way, this set is so comfortable. This t-shirt is super soft. These sweatpants are unbelievably soft. And again, I paired them with those same tennis sneakers, but I'm actually about to go and relax. So I'm gonna keep this on and probably just end up putting on a pair of slippers. I hope you enjoyed today's haul. If you did, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment section and let me know which item was your favorite. And then also if you like this style haul and if you want me to do more hauls. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys for my next video.